It was just another mundane afternoon patrol for Officer Daniels and Mitchell, who decided to engage in casual conversation with their colleagues. Their banter came to an abrupt halt when an elderly woman stumbled in front of them. However, instead of offering assistance, Officers Daniels and Mitchell found themselves unable to contain their laughter. Yet, their amusement was short-lived as they soon discovered the identity of this mysterious woman, the mother of someone significant, plunging them into potential trouble. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. The question arose, who was this elderly woman and should they apologize for their inappropriate behavior? Most importantly, would their jobs be at risk if they failed to do so? As Officer Daniels and Mitchell initially embraced the police force, they were enthusiastic recruits, eager to uphold the law and serve their city. However, over time, their sense of valor and honor diminished, transforming them into individuals who would laugh callously at a woman's misfortune rather than extending a helping hand. The routine patrols and trivial crimes began to feel monotonous, leaving them unfulfilled and discontent. They perceived a neglect of their potential, which they believed deserved more meaningful assignments. Clara, meticulous about her appearance, found herself stumbling and dropping the contents of her bag as she fell. Officers Daniels and Mitchell, positioned nearby, opted for an unexpected course of action. Instead of rushing to her aid after hearing her distressed yelp, they engaged in an unthinkable act. Officer Daniels let out an inappropriate chuckle, quickly followed by Officer Mitchell's boisterous laughter. Amidst the disapproving stares from onlookers, a young woman approached Clara, demonstrating genuine concern and checking for injuries. Ignoring the situation, the officers continued making jokes, oblivious to the disapproval of the crowd forming around them. The young woman couldn't contain her fury and confronted the officers, questioning their commitment to protection and service. The officers, previously feeling invulnerable in their uniforms, were soon to realize that their actions had consequences when they learned Clara's true identity. The woman's accusation resonated deeply as she questioned the standard of protection expected from them. Officer Mitchell, recognizing the gravity of the situation, inquired about Clara's identity from Officer Daniels. Despite his usual confident demeanor, Officer Daniels could only shrug, acknowledging the need to find out more. As Clara was gently escorted to a nearby bench by concerned bystanders attending to her minor injuries, a storm of emotions brewed within her. The officer's laughter echoed in her ears, their faces etched in her memory. She had observed the dwindling police presence in the growing city, recognizing the challenges faced by law enforcement. Understanding their pressures, long hours, and thankless tasks did not diminish the hurt caused by their insensitive behavior. By the following morning, the incident had ignited a widespread conversation across the town. Hushed discussions permeated coffee shops, grocery stores, and street corners. As days progressed into weeks, the initial shock subsided, giving way to a palpable discontent. The once unshakable trust the community held in the police force began to erode. Parents issued cautionary advice to their children, and elderly residents, including Clara, felt a twinge of unease at the mere sight of a police car. The city, with its rich history of venerating its officers as heroes, protectors of peace, and upholders of justice, mourned the tarnishing of its once pristine image of the police force. There was a collective yearning for a bygone era when officers symbolized hope and trust. Upon entering the precinct the next day, officers Daniels and Mitchell sensed a notable shift in the atmosphere. The customary morning banter was conspicuously absent, replaced by an oppressive silence. The weight of numerous eyes bore down on them as they walked to their desks. The usual nods of acknowledgement were replaced by cold, distant stares. Throughout the day, it became evident that Daniels and Mitchell had become the disgraced duo of the precinct. Their actions not only brought embarrassment upon themselves, but also cast a shadow over the entire department. The gravity of the situation weighed heavily on Daniels and Mitchell, transforming their earlier indifference into a gnawing anxiety. Back at their desks, officers Daniels and Mitchell urgently powered up their computers. Their quest to unearth information on Clara from the city's database proved futile, as her identity remained elusive, a phantom in their memories, but absent from all records. 
Exhausted and teetering on the verge of surrender, Daniels decided to take a break and wandered into the precinct's archives. Amidst dusty shelves and old case files, a yellowed newspaper caught his attention. Driven by curiosity, he began skimming through it. An article within the pages seized his focus, hinting at a significant event from years ago. As he delved into the details, Daniels realized he might have stumbled upon a pivotal piece of the puzzle. Hurriedly returning to their shared desk, Daniels clutched the old newspaper tightly. Mitchell, you need to see this. The article chronicled a community event from decades ago, extolling the resilience and spirit of the city's residents. Notable figures, philanthropists, and everyday heroes were mentioned. What captured the officer's attention was a reference to a woman named Clara, playing a crucial role in a community project. The details aligned with Clara's description, and the timeline seemed to fit. Adjacent to the article lay an old black-and-white photograph, portraying a group of people. Among them, a younger Clara stood out, her eyes sparkling with determination and kindness. The officers had unwittingly uncovered a fragment of her past, a chapter of her life immortalized in print. The realization dawned upon them. They had derided a woman who had once been celebrated in the very city they pledged to protect. Overwhelmed by guilt, they knew amends were imperative, not solely for their sake, but for Clara's and the legacy she embodied. The officers initiated plans to confront Clara, acknowledging their mistake and offering a heartfelt apology. Taking a deep breath, officers Daniels and Mitchell stood outside Clara's residence, gently knocking and awaiting the opening of the door. As Clara greeted them, her eyes conveyed a mixture of surprise and weariness. Clearing their throats, the officers hoped she would afford them a few moments to seek her forgiveness. In the warm ambience of Clara's living room, the officers initiated their apology. We deeply regret our actions, ma'am. Daniels began, his eyes cast downward. Mitchell added, We failed in our duty not only as officers but as human beings. Their remorse was palpable, and their heartfelt apology resonated through the room. Clara listened intently, her expression inscrutable. Following a prolonged pause, she finally spoke. She began, her voice gentle. What matters is that we learn from them. Her words exuded grace and understanding, revealing her magnanimity. Clara acknowledged their sincere remorse and, in her wisdom, extended an opportunity for redemption. Eager to make amends, the officers proposed to drive Clara to a place of significance for her. Upon arrival, they found themselves at a beautifully maintained memorial park. In front of them stood a statue, paying homage to community heroes of the past. Clara's eyes glistened with tears as she recounted stories of those immortalized in stone, emphasizing the values the officers had pledged to uphold. Continuing her narrative, Clara disclosed a revelation that left the officers astonished. My younger son, she proudly revealed, took up his brother's mantle and is now the chief of police. The weight of this revelation settled heavily on Daniels and Mitchell. They had unwittingly mocked the mother of their leader, a woman who had dedicated much to the city and its police force. Observing their shock, Clara compassionately continued. I didn't inform my son about the incident. I believed that both of you would recognize your mistake and come to apologize. Her faith in their inherent goodness and the prospect of redemption was evident. Everyone can lose their way, but it's never too late to find the right path again. With heads bowed, the officers silently pledged to Clara her heroic son, and themselves. They committed to becoming better individuals, upholding the honor of their roles, and serving their community with genuine compassion and respect. As days turned into weeks, the community began to witness the transformation in officers Daniels and Mitchell. Their earnest efforts to make amends and their unwavering dedication to their roles gradually rebuilt the trust that had been fractured. The story of officers Daniels and Mitchell emerged as a beacon of hope for the city a poignant reminder that it is never too late to rectify one's mistakes and rediscover the path to honor.